to my favorite place to spend money on JDM parts. Look at this place. Always the craziest cars when we come to the shop. This thing is so nice. Absolute goals for our Type R here. Want this wing as well. Let's check out Jose's Type R over here. The epitome of a track Type R this is so cool. You guys have seen this a lot in my videos and take a lot of inspiration from Jose with my Type R. This thing is so cool with the RS Future Aero. Anyways, like I said, we're gonna be picking up some parts today and Catman's gonna be helping us out. Oh my gosh, okay, we're good thing. I think it'll fit, it should fit. So, if somehow you guys missed that we picked up a new Type R, here she is. I'm super, super excited. As you guys know, I do a ton of work with Art of Attack. Art of Attack and I have built some of the craziest and the coolest cars that I've ever owned, such as the Spoon S2000 and the Varus GTR. And we're gonna be doing some awesome stuff with the Type R as well, obviously. So we're picking up a couple of things that showed up. We're still waiting on a few more items. You guys know how it is when you buy things from Japan, but a couple of them showed up. We're gonna pick them up now because I have grid life in a couple of days and I wanna get a couple of things on before we actually send this car out to Connecticut. So let me show you guys what we got. So we have picked up a brand new HKS exhaust and a Jay's, well, I don't wanna give too much away. We have something from Jay's Racing that we'll be installing as well. As you guys know when I went to Japan not this past time but the time before that we actually visited Jay's Racing in Osaka and I fell in love with all of the Jay's Racing parts and I really want to do as much as I possibly can of Jay's Racing on my car so as much as I can get and this is the first piece of the puzzle right here which I'm super super freaking pumped about but I got to fit all of this stuff into the Type R. One of my favorite things about the Type R is how much you can actually fit and how much space the car actually has. So let's see if we can fit HKS exhaust and a body piece from Jay's Racing into the car. I don't know if all the boxes are gonna fit, dude. Well, there's another one? There's that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, here goes the Tetris. I mean, we could take that out of the box. What is this one? Are That's an exhaust. exhaust okay. Maybe we'll take that one out of the box. Yeah. 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 Because then you can fit it right there. Put that out. All right, it's that Type R fitment, dude. We fit the exhaust and our Jay's racing part. Good to go. What do you think, RJ? It all fits. <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> Super pumped. Now, I'm not sure what we're gonna install today. One of these is getting installed. Super stoked that it all fit in the Type R. She's already come in and use. Huge thank you to the Art of Attack team for helping me secure all this stuff. Like I said, we still got a little bit left to go. We're gonna hop in the Type R and let's head to the shop. Man, we got we got a great race car, track car, great daily with AC, comfortable, and and a car that can fit all of our parts. Literally, such an amazing car. Okay, let's head to the shop. Today's video is sponsored by Valvoline. When you drive your car as much as I do, it's important to take care and maintain your engine. For all of my oil changes and routine checkups, I choose Valvoline. Specifically for my high performance cars, I use Valvoline VR1. Valvoline VR1 full synthetic racing oils high zinc formula provides race level protection for high performance engines on the racetrack or the highway. Its exclusive chemistry is designed to reduce friction and enhance power. It is among the most popular engine lubricant in all types of racing. It's formulated for race engines but compatible with passenger vehicles as well. If you guys are interested in checking out Valvoline VR1 for yourselves, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below for you guys to check out the oil and also see what oil fits your vehicle best. First Type R mods. First mod ever to the Type R. Forewarning, pre-warning of the video. <laughs> These cars do not sound great. They sound, they're okay, but not super great. But today we're gonna make it sound just a little bit better than this. We're gonna start out with my favorite mod to do on any car, and that is gonna be 
the exhaust. We have a massive update on the EG as well as the GTR, but we'll get to that later. I wanna go ahead and knock out the first mods to the Type R because this thing is actually leaving us in a couple of days to head all the way to Connecticut for its first track day. I know, we're crazy, but the GTR is in pieces and that's not gonna be ready. The Attack EG is also not ready, obviously. So that leaves us with the Type R. It's gonna be a race car, it's gonna be a daily driver. It's gonna be just our, our fun car. It's a nice it's a nice car that's gonna be to go to the track, have fun, be able to drive it to and from the track wherever I'm staying, it's gonna be great. And it's gonna be Garage Kogeki attack spec. It is, yeah, exactly, it is, yeah. <laughs> but being able to just drive it every day. Obviously you guys know my favorite mod to do on any car when we first get it is to get that exhaust. It just wakens up the car, gives it a little bit of personality, and of course, as you guys know, if you watch the Japan series, I told you guys that I already had an HKS exhaust on order before we even went to the factory. And I actually got to see this exact, not this one actually, but this exact exhaust model being made in the factory. That's, that's insane. Handmade. I was kind of mad that you weren't <laughs> able to film. because that's. I know. That's How so lame cool. is that? Yeah. Anyways, it, it, it's so cool that we're installing this exhaust because I literally saw this specific exhaust being hand welded handmade everything in the actual hks factory in japan which that was definitely one of the coolest experiences ever and it just makes me want to use more hks stuff because you always hear about the hks quality and stuff which you i guess might think that they have like machines and factories that are like piecing this and welding this all together it's all handmade which is crazy from the welding to the coloring of the tips from the packaging, from them filling up the resonators and the mufflers. All this is a single piece. This is a single piece. The hangers are a single piece. And they have people that go in and hand weld all of it. It's really freaking cool. So anyways, the box would not fit in my car for the mid pipe and the resonator and stuff. So this is already unpackaged. But what the good stuff is, is the giant mufflers that they have inside this box. Let's go and unbox it. You guys just heard the stock exhaust, which the cars don't sound great, but we're gonna make it sound a little better. Let's go ahead and open this and check it out. Then we'll get on with the install. Look at this, dude. Oh. Dude. Dude. <laughs> that's a beefy. That's, that's a beefy this exhaust. Is so beefy. But also, look how nice it's gonna look. Oh yeah. She is pretty, dude. That is so nice. The oh. quality, dude. That's yeah, really amazing you quality. Know, to be completely honest, I'm not fan. I'm not a fan of the whole center exit exhaust thing that they did with the Type R. I much rather like a two side exits or whatever. But this is really, really damn nice. Now she's not gonna be super loud, but she is gonna sound a little bit aggressive. Give her a deeper tone. Anything's better than stock on this car. Okay. That's so freaking quiet. But this is gonna look really nice out the back and to make it sound just a little bit better. HKS quality, baby. Look at this. We're gonna be working with all of this awesome stuff and building the coolest Type R that we possibly can. Let's go ahead and lift this car up, get the stock exhaust off, and put the HKS one on. Nice little surprise for us. The previous owner left us a little oil change valve right there and make it super simple for us. That's always nice. Look at this piping. Look at this dumb thing, Tim. I Look at this stupid. Not stupid. Look how beautiful this piece is. This is just JDM in all its goodness right here. I'm sure the new Type R has the same stupid thing. Oh yeah, 100%. And we're going to do the same great thing when the FL5 comes out. But either way, super simple. You guys know how exhausts work. We're going to throw this guy back in. So with the HKS exhaust, you still have a resonator, but you lose the resonator closest to the up pipe, which is that guy right back there. So it opens her up a little bit. 
this is just gonna sound way, way freaking nicer than this guy is. Not necessarily, probably louder, but it'll be deeper and more aggressive tone. Yes. Which makes the driving experience fun. And when I'm on track with this thing, I need to have some sort of noise to tell me where I'm at in the RPM range when I'm when I'm shifting the car. It just makes a really big difference when you're racing and you can actually hear the car give you feedback versus when it's like just sounds like air, which sucks. So let's go ahead and throw her in. Oh, also. Very, very nice. We have fire rings. That's what I call them, fire rings. I don't even think I would call that a donut gasket. That's not a donut gasket. It goes right here. Yeah. No leakage for us. Yeah, I like these gaskets. HKS Spec L installed. Now, what we have to do is lower the car down, make sure that these are all angled the exact same. This exhaust looks infinitely better than the stock. I love the Spec L muffler type and the tips and everything looks very, very nice. Especially with like the burnt tips, just a little. Clean it first? Of course, but I wanna make sure that it fits so I don't clean it, touch it and. Very, very nice. I am pumped for this. Dude, I love the angle. It kind of like angles up a little bit with the diffuser. It's nice. Oh yeah. She looks good, guys. Debatably the most important part of any exhaust install, the cleaning. Listen guys, you don't want nasty, dirty fingerprints on your brand new installed exhaust. So don't give me shit about washing me. Washing a part that you'll never see. It's always nice when you lift up the car to work on it. You got a nice, shiny, great colored exhaust. It'll make you feel better. Okay. I think she looks solid. All right, Tim, bro, you know what time it is? It is exhaust leaky time. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta check, check for leaks here. I just wanna hear it. Now, from what I remember from the first time we did this, don't expect too much. But when you drive, that's when you'll be able to hear the difference. That's that's a change. That's definitely that that, that is way better. Let me go, let me check leaks yeah. now. Leak check, checks out. It sounds amazing. It's burning out all the stuff in there though. Yeah. <laughs> New exhaust smell. It's great. 
It's actually really nice. Yeah. I'm actually surprised. With it how sounds quiet. completely different out there, actually. Does it? Yeah. It's more aggressive. With how quiet it was on startup, I was like, oh god. That's actually super nice. And, and my I like it, dude. It sounds good. It does sound good. It, it's not overly obnoxious. No. It's my yeah. first time in a Type R. Really? <laughs> what do you think? I love this thing. It's so nice. It's actually pretty quick. I'm excited for. A, a track day in this. Everybody tells me how awesome this car is on the track. This is a great car. That's a really great car. Can't believe you waited this long. <laughs> Again, I know. <laughs> Just wait till the FL5, dude. All right, now that the Type R is finished, I can give you guys an update on all the ongoing projects that we have in the shop. I've been gone in Japan for so long, a lot of this has had to be put on hold, and now that I'm finally back, we can start getting to work on things, and we have a lot to do. Now, we're gonna go over the EG, but before we get into that, let's hop over to the GTR. The reason why we are not taking this car to Grid Life this weekend at Lime Rock is because it is obviously in pieces. The biggest thing that we are doing is fixing the water pump. If you guys remember, at the last Good Life event, we had coolant spewing out of this little, I wish it was easier to see, yeah. this little slot right here. So basically, this is an N1 oil pump. We don't have an N1 block, so sometimes people usually, some people say they do, some people say they don't, have issues with coolant coming out of this slot right here, which obviously we did. So to fix that, we went ahead and got the correct water pump right here which does not have the slot as the correct bolt instead of the slot right there so this should fix our coolant leaking issue yes which is going to be obviously priority number one this was not going to make it in time for line run main issue number two if you guys come look over here we are missing all of our suspension so our complete front knuckle and our arms and everything is currently in canada with fdf fab because they are making us a custom completely adjustable front suspension for this car. So knuckle, lower control arm, upper control arm, everything is going to be completely adjustable and brand new from FDF Fab. They needed ours so that they could go ahead and produce it. It's gonna be super, super sick. So we're gonna have completely new suspension to go along with our really sick Fortune Auto Dreadnought suspension so that we can completely dial in everything to exact spec. We're gonna be able to fix our ride height, our camber, our caster, literally everything will be able to be adjusted yes. and uh much like the s2000 to precise measurements if you guys don't remember this car is running and has raced on a stock alignment ever since we got this thing back on the road yeah and like you can feel it when i went around <laughs> with him you can feel the car pushing out because it doesn't have that camber it doesn't have that correct adjustment or the correct alignment so once we get our suspension in this thing is going to be freaking sick this car will make it to horizon fest in colorado which is uh pikes peak international raceway we'll get this thing completely buttoned up and ready for that event it just unfortunately didn't make it to this but it's good because we get a little bit of test with the type yes. R. last but not least we do have from our friends over at os skyken a front and a rear lsd we are just to be doing the rear right now because i kind of want to do it in steps to kind of feel what this car feels like with a rear lsd and then with a rear and a front lsd but before we go to PPIR, we're going to be ripping out our stock rear diff and putting in the brand new OS Gaiken rear LSD. This thing is going to be insane, Tim. With a brand crazy. new suspension, brand new LSD, this thing is going to be crazy. Right here. It's going to be very, very good. Yeah, that's basically why this car can't be at Grid Life this weekend, but we'll make it for PPIR. Next up, the EG. This is, this is one of the more important projects that we have going on right now. Uh, the K-Swap EG, the Attack EG. You guys have seen us working on this for a long time now. And we finally have everything in. We have everything, everything we need is here. Pretty much everything that we need is here. So what we're working on right now is piecing it together. One thing that you guys uh, told us that we really, really needed, which we have been waiting a very long time for, is the RSX Type S oil pump, which we finally got in. And this is going to get installed today so that we can actually 
finished piecing this thing together and putting it into the car, which is the next EG update video that you guys will get. We got a lot going on. We're not just letting things sit around. Yeah. Um, we're getting everything finished. Once this oil pump is in, the next video you guys will get, this engine is gonna look completely different. It's not even gonna look like the same engine. Not at all. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. Yeah, and it'll be great. inside the car with everything connected, ready for the first start. So lots of big plans coming up, guys. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm happy that I'm back so that we can actually get all this stuff done now and get this thing freaking ripping. Hope this was a helpful update for you guys to get what's going on in the shop now that I'm back in America, but I literally leave in three days again. Yep. And then two days after that, I, when I get back, two days after I get back, I leave again. So we're, gonna, we're cramming it in. And I promise that that car will be running. I, I, I hope before Thanksgiving. Before things, that's... I, that's what I'm saying. That's a lot of words. For, that's, that's strong words coming from Tim. I was hoping like by Christmas, but we're gonna push for it guys. Keep, keep us accountable, okay? We're gonna get it done. That is going to do it for our video today. I hope you guys are enjoying the FKA content. I cannot believe how much love we got on the reveal video and me just getting the car. So many of you guys have an FKA and I had no clue. So it's really, really cool. The possibilities are just endless with what we can do with these cars. So I'm very, very excited for the future. And a lot of you guys were asking why I didn't wait until the FL5 came out. Guys, you get, you didn't think I thought about that before buying the FKA? Why not have both? But that's for, that's for another story. Hope you guys are stoked. Like I said, we we have a lot of awesome plans coming with FK. Come see us this weekend at Lime Rock. If you guys are in the area, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of the boys there. It's gonna be a great weekend. So I hope to see you guys there. Of course, we're gonna be filming. It's gonna be, gonna be a fun little series. But if you guys have any suggestions for what you guys wanna see with the type off, let me know down in the comments below what mods you guys wanna see so I can get an idea of what you guys wanna see with FK because it's gonna be a fun build. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have not already, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys for the next video don't miss it because it is we have some really awesome mods going on in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next one peace out